question for you. Sure. So do you have any advice for people looking to get into this industry or get into this career? <clears throat> yeah, that's a tough one. Um, because like I was saying, it's, it's, it's not just drawing. Mm -hmm. it, it is drawing. I mean, here, here's the thing. Let's just take the drawing component of it, component of it for a second. Yeah. Um, you have to be able to draw anything at any angle at any given time um, unless a uh, specific reference is called for. That is, um, that's a lot just mm. to get under your belt right there. I mean, um, just, just think about what's involved in that. You know, your mastery of perspective, your mastery of the human form, um, emotion. Um, you know, that's, that's a big thing to have to try and get a grip on, you know, so you can, you can wield those powers of yours professionally. You understand the human form, you understand perspective, you understand composition, you understand lighting and this and that. That just covers the drawing part of it. Um, it's a multi multidisciplinary job. So you have to, you have to know, you have to be a director. Mm -hmm. You have to be an actor. You have to be an editor. You have to be a cinematographer. You have to be a stuntman. You have to be a second unit director. You have to be a writer because you are the first visual iteration of the script. Mm -hmm. And in order for you to bring the script to life to the point where you have to pitch it to other people, you have to have a basic understanding of all these disciplines. You can't storyboard a scene and not understand how to edit. How yeah. are you going to edit your shots together? How are you going to sell this to these people? You can't storyboard a scene and not understand about composition. Oh, gee, this is great. But all these people are in two shots in every single shot. You know, you have to vary the shots. You have to understand. And you can't just throw any old shot in there. Like I was saying mm -hmm. about the eight second unit guy. Sometimes you don't want to put shots in there that they can't get in camera because they can see right through it and it makes you look amateurish. You know, it's like, yeah, it's great, but we can't get that. Um, so I don't know. I mean... I don't, I, I can't, I don't want to say like, go to maybe go to film school. I don't know. I don't know if they even really get into storyboarding in film school. Cause there's a lot of film schools that I've spoken at. They don't even talk about it. Wow. They're like ignorant of it. It's like, Oh, wow. Storyboards. Wow. And they do all this wow, they're responsible for this and that. It's like, yeah. Hmm. Um, I would say that, you know, you're left up to your own devices, get as many books um, as you can about the subject, do your own type of research, uh, look at commercials. Mm. Uh, like a 30 second commercial and pause it every time they cut every time the camera cuts to a new angle pause it and understand why they're making those cuts why they're making those decisions because it's much easier to break down a 30 second spot and understand what they're trying to do with that spot than a two and a half hour movie so you know there, there there's a level of camera language that you need to know um you know cutting and 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 mm. you know pacing and things like that so there, there's a lot of stuff that goes into it uh, there's great groups on Facebook that you can join storyboarding groups, uh, a couple that I'm part of. I just posted there the other day. Uh, you'll see a lot of big heavy hitters posting there. And if you post stuff there, ask for feedback. Believe me, you'll get no shortage of uh, people wanting to give you your two cents or their two cents. And coming from people that actually do the job that are actually working is, is the best because the job has sort of morphed over the years. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not just traditional board anymore. There's a lot of animation and animatics going on. Right. Um, yeah, I guess what I'm trying to say is there's no one stop shop for storyboarding. Gotcha, gotcha. It's it's very much a mix of everything. It's very technical, but also artistic and yes. a lot of other elements. Yeah, I think a good way to cover all those things, you don't have to be like, oh, I'm a cin cinematography. Okay, I've got to watch Roger Deakin movies or uh, editing. I, You know, it's like the way I kind of covered a lot of that is through animation. I watch how they cover scenes. Animation storyboard artists are the best storytellers in the world. I don't care what anybody does. Live action guys like me, okay, yeah, we can get the point across, but we don't have to deal with the we have to deal with the acting as so far as, oh, this guy's mad here. Oh, they're scared here or they're worried here. We don't have to deliver lines of dialogue while a person is crying and then all of a sudden they're happy. Oh, now they're crying again. Animation people have to do that in the storyboards. They have to convey that type of stuff. They're the premier storytellers. So you can really learn a lot from them as far as how to cut, how to direct, how to stage a sequence, the composition. Now you can't go too far down that road if you want to be in live action because all your stuff's going to look like it's, which, you know, came out SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> but... Mm -hmm. If you look at animation for what it is at its core, it's supreme sequential visual storytelling. Nobody does it better than animation board artists, in my opinion. Um, so don't get so overwhelmed by, oh, I got to learn editing. I got to learn cinematography. I got to learn this. I got to learn that. You sit down and watch a good animation movie and you can see how these animators, because there's no actors involved, there's, there's mm -hmm. no lighting involved, there's none of, no crew involved. It's the artist at placing that figure mm -hmm. in that frame and, and posing it a certain way, making it move a certain way. And then cutting to the next shot, you know, all of it's right there. And that's how I, you know, I, I would just like watch animation sequences and say, there's no reason yeah. I can't translate this to film, you know, I'll ground it a little mm -hmm. more in reality. Mm -hmm. Like the cutting works, everything works. Gotcha, so, gotcha. I'm saying that because I'm not like a big, huge student of film. You know, I'm not like a cinephile. Yeah. Most of the guys that I work with, forget about knowing the director's 
they know production designers on movies. Mm. Oh, so, so production designed that movie. <laughs> how the hell do you even know? I don't even know who directed the movie. It's about production design. Mm. But these are the types of people that you're working with a lot of the time. Um, mm. but I don't have that background, you know, mm. and I don't need it because I love animation and I love movies too, you know, but I'm just not a cinephile. I, mm. What attracts me more um, is the action, the animation, the kinetic mm. energy and be able to, to bring that into the sequence. That's where I feel like my powers, if you will, are, are, are at <laughs> the best. Um, so yeah, I, I get a lot of inspiration from that. It's not that I'm like digging through films and looking and studying and, you know, I'm not saying that you can't do that. I just, I just never had the, the aptitude for it or the, um, the attention span. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I don't know uh, if uh, yeah. you go on my uh, Pinterest page, if people have questions, you more than, I'll be more than happy to field questions. I have a lot of people asking me stuff, but I usually get to it. And if you have a question, you know, I'll be more than happy to give you some pointers on how to put together a portfolio or, you know, but again, it's, um, it's a tough one because there's so much mm. stuff that goes into it. Yeah. Somebody well, helped me along the way and I'm going to uh, other people. So yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah, that's that's awesome, about. man. Thank you so much for doing this, Tony. I, I really appreciate it. I hope it was worth it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I think this is going to be a great episode. Do you have anything uh, you're working on you want people to check out? Um, you know, no, you can just go to my uh, Instagram page. It's big screen boards. And um, I try and post stuff there all the time. Uh, I get pretty swamped with work. So um, I haven't posted in a while. I just posted something the other day, but um, there may be uh, times where I'm not posting stuff for a while, but usually I'll, uh, I'll get my most recent stuff on there. I'll do some breakdowns on how I put together animatics. Um, yeah, there's a lot of fun stuff on there. Cool, so cool. Check it out. Okay, yeah. yeah, I'll link that in the description and let people check it out. Yeah, and feel free to ask me questions and, you know, I'll get to what I can get to. And, and uh, yeah, always down to uh, help anybody out or answer any questions. Awesome. I think uh, that's a good place to go ahead and wrap this up. Again, thanks for doing this, Tony. Like I said, okay. I really appreciate thanks, it. Guys. My pleasure. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, Tony. Bye. Bye.